As summer approaches, pool party season has begun, but would you want to be in this pool in Vegas? People packed in swimsuit to swimsuit. We decided to test the water to see what's in it. And when these party goers learn what we found, they may want to get out of the pool. Here's Les Trent. On the Las Vegas Strip, wild pool parties like these are the hottest ticket in town. The pools are so jam-packed, it's standing room only, and just about anything goes. Sometimes it's so crowded you can hardly see the water. So you have to wonder, what about the condition of the water in all those pools? We sent a team of producers to collect water samples at three of the most popular pool clubs in Las Vegas. First up, Marquee Day Club at the swanky Cosmopolitan Hotel. The state of Nevada requires pools like this to keep the filtration system in continuous operation and keep the pool clean of debris, slime, and biofilm. But look what we found floating throughout the pool. Fingernails, cigarette butts, and all kinds of disgusting foamy debris. What is that? Nasty, right? <laughs> Nasty. Our producers collected samples and then shipped them to IEH Laboratories in Seattle, Washington for testing. Then the results were reviewed by Dr. Susan Whittier, clinical microbiologist at Columbia University. So the results are in. What did you find? Wow, we found a lot of fecal bacteria in some of these pools. The potential for an infection occurring seems inevitable. At the Marquee Day Club, the lab found a total bacteria count of 15 million. Dr. Whittier says that can be potentially harmful to your health. And that nasty foam floating throughout the pool tested positive for E. coli. If this were a public pool or the beach, what would happen? Oh, it would be shut down. Over at MGM's Mandalay Bay Resort, if you want to beat the heat, this is the place to be, the Daylight Beach Club. General admission will cost you 30 bucks, but Dr. Whittier says their pool had a whopping bacteria count of 100 million and tested positive for E. coli. I never expected to see those numbers of bacteria that we found. It's gross. It's kind of like similar like swimming in a toilet. Debbie Doty has over two decades of experience cleaning pools. Look at that video. I'm wondering what is your first reaction when you see that? There are too many people in the pool. She says it takes constant vigilance to keep pools like these free of potentially harmful bacteria. If you take a pool that size and you have that many people, you can't sanitize it enough. But it wasn't all bad news. At the famous Tao Day Club, admission may be pricey, $60, but at least the pool water was clean with no evidence of E. coli, according to our test. So whatever they're doing is correct. MGM Resorts, which owns the Cosmopolitan and Mandalay Bay, tells us the safety of their guests is their top priority. They say their pools follow all health regulations and are tested multiple times a day to ensure there are proper levels of disinfectant. And they say they continue to examine their procedures to ensure they are as effective as possible.